<laughs> okay, this title is called Watching an anime with someone who's seen it already. So basically, me every day reacting and you guys in chat basically just spoiling and just trying to get my attention. Let's get it. Oh shit, bro, you watching Yeah, I just started it. You, you just started? Bro, bro, you just, bro, bro. Bro, episode seven, bro. Oh, bro, you got no clue, bro. Yo, this is gonna happen in the crazy. You have no idea, bro. And boom, you just pretty much ruined it. You did. There's gotta be a different way of hyping something up. Cause of course you're coming in this so excited to tell your homies about your favorite show and hyping up that moment. But if you do that in a really annoying, aggressive way, it raises the bar of standards, expectations skyrocket, and the experience for the other dude, it might be shitty because you glazed it too much. Bro, oh my god, bro, this shit is amazing, bro! This shit is dope as fuck! I mean, it look good. Bro, it's so good, bro. It's yeah. so good, bro. Yeah, wait until that moment, bro. It's sad too, bro. You, bro, you gonna cry. You gonna cry, my What do you mean cry? What do you mean sad? You don't have to fucking tell me these things, bro. Nigga, nigga, it's gonna make you wanna fight. It's gonna make you wanna steal. It's gonna make you wanna have a baby, nigga. God damn, Juan Gomez, Tevin, for the 10 gifted sub. That's a juicy one. Thank you so much, Gomez. Don't cry, my nigga. It's gonna make you wanna fight. It's gonna make you wanna steal. It's gonna make you wanna have a baby, nigga. On God, watch, bro. A I baby? swear to God. Yeah, it's wild. Oh! Yo, this that one episode. Oh, yo, bro, watch this, bro. Bro, watch this, watch this, bro. You want me to tell you? No. No, who asked? Nobody fucking asked. Stop it. Just just chill the fuck out. See, it, it, here's the thing. Because, you know, this Griffey is just excited to share his favorite moment of his favorite show with his friend Griffey. But the friend Griffey ain't no idea what's about to happen. And it's better if they experience it for the first time. This person experienced it raw spontaneously for the first time and it was like whoa my god that was crazy and now you want to tell other people and it's from a place of passion and love i get it you want to talk about your favorite show with other people but sometimes when you do it a little bit too much in a very aggressive way that's not really guiding right you're just gonna ruin it for the other person oh let, let me watch it all right all right all right, all right. <laughs> stop looking at me Yo, I think they're watching Attack on Titan right now. Oh, shit. I told you! I told you that shit was crazy, right? That shit was crazy, right? That shit was crazy, right? That yeah. was crazy, right? I mean, it would have been more surprising if I didn't know something was about to happen. <laughs> That's the thing, bro. The shock factor. The shock factor goes away when you have so many people just screaming. It's like, it's about to happen that moment, bro. It's coming. It's coming. And I'm like, just... Just please, can you just shut the fuck up and let us enjoy it? Yo, pause it, pause it, bro. Pause it. Pause it. Yeah? What? <laughs> you're not ready for this thing. <laughs> Yo, you, 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 you're not ready. Stop! Stop it! Listen, when I pause to engage and tr understand everything so that I get a better like experience and understanding, that's totally different. When, when you're pausing this shit with someone new because you've already seen it and you're saying, bro, in about 10 seconds, oh, you got no fucking clue, brother. It's just like, <sighs> here we go. For this scene right here, bro. bro. You're not fucking ready <laughs> for this scene. Let me yeah, I'm not ready. And that should be a great thing for me to just get bamboozled by the plot twist. But when you tell me, Oh, Kaka, you ain't ready for today's Dandaran episode. You ain't ready for ReZero. You ain't just shut the fuck up, please. I'm begging you. You not fucking ready. You not ready. Turn it off. What? 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 Turn it off. Okay. <laughs> you not ready. Go get ready. <laughs> How do I get ready? You want me to go to the gym and get a pump? What do you want me to do? How? Die. You gotta die. You gotta die. To get ready, you gotta die. Just die real quick. Real what? quick. Just die real quick. You gotta die real quick for, for a couple seconds. I, I, I don't think I can watch it anymore if I die, but 
<laughs> this is such a relatable thing, bro. Obviously, it doesn't really... Like, you guys in chat hyping the show up, and here's a link to Griffey's channel. Please go give him a like on the video. Subscribe to his channel if you haven't. But, like, goddamn, bro. When I'm just, like, reacting and then just, just chilling and the chat starts popping off, it's like, oh, it's about to happen. Oh, that moment, bro. Yeah, bro, that moment. It's just gonna happen no matter what. I can't do anything about it. And the more that I get triggered and upset and cry about it, it just ruins the vibes, right? So I've kind of built up this tolerance, this resistance where it's just gonna happen. And I just ignore chat and I try to give you the best performances I can. It's all just smoke and mirrors, ladies and gentlemen. Just entertainment at its finest.